Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Carly Bradley. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This afternoon, we'll tell you about the Correspondence Dinner, a new senior living facility, and more. Today is Monday, February 27th, and this is the lunch break. President Donald Trump, who has been criticizing the news media and is famously thin-skinned, says he won't be attending the White House Correspondents Association dinner, sparing himself the dubious honor of being an in-the-house target of jokes. The annual fundraiser for college scholarships and venue for reporting awards mixes politicians, journalists, and celebrities and is typically attended by the president and first lady. If he attended the dinner, Trump would be a prime target of jokes, the camera showing his reaction to one-liners. In 2011, he was on hand and appeared humiliated as Obama lobbed joke after joke at his expense. At the time, Trump was a proponent of the debunked claim that Obama wasn't born in the United States. To stay up to date on whether or not President Trump will attend this dinner, visit LeeHerald.com. As Republicans try to unite around a replacement for the Affordable Care Act, one of the most popular parts of the law will be among the most difficult to replace, the guarantee of health coverage for people with pre-existing conditions. The challenge of providing insurance for Americans who have no other alternative has some congressional Republicans considering whether to ask the states to reboot high-risk pools, an option with a rocky history. The health care law requires insurance companies to cover people with serious medical problems at the same premium prices as everyone else. President Donald Trump said that he wants to keep pre-existing conditions, but has not said how. To stay up to date on this story, visit NaplesHerald.com. DeAngelis Diamond recently started construction for Thrive at Naples, a $31 million, 189,000 square foot senior living community. Thrive at Naples features 198 units with advanced pneumatic fitness equipment, keyless entry doors, large touchscreen controls, and social events including movie matinees and rooftop happy hours. DeAngelis Diamond has more than 20 years of general contracting experience with a strong commercial and healthcare construction presence across the United States and in the Caribbean islands. To read more about this amazing development, visit NaplesHerald.com. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Carly Bradley. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.